in this quick video. I will demonstrate how I recover a lost website layout from the time machine at web.archive.org. I have selected this random example. Let's start by clicking the Nimbu Phi icon to activate the selection mode. Then I will click to select any element and then move my way up in the hierarchy using the up arrow until the area I want to target is highlighted. Then I generate a snapshot. Now let's go to the oxygen builder. I will lay out a two column setup here. I will make the first column 70% wide. I will mark this column as a point of insertion and open up the Nimbu Phi dialog. It's all set, so I click on import. It will take a few seconds. And here we have that section in its full glory. Now let's go back to the time machine. As this one is going to be fresh import, I will click on the Nimbu Phi icon once to reset any previous data. I will target this area now. Click to select, move up the hierarchy with the arrow key. And it's good. Generate the snapshot. Go back to the oxygen builder. And this time, I will mark the point of insertion in the second column. Open the Nimbu 5 pop-up. It's all set and let's import. Here we have that section as well. Now let's try one last piece. Let's start afresh by clicking the Nimbu Phi icon. This area is good. I will select it the same way. And generate a snapshot. In the oxygen builder, I will select the first column to act as the container. Open the Nimbu Phi pop-up and click on import. All right, this is pretty good. All I need to do is to push it down in the box. And needless to say, all the content is editable using the Oxygen's features. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Want to know more? Visit nimbufi.com.